everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a bottle of wine with a glass of wine. So let's get started. Get a piece of paper and a pencil out. And then start by drawing a letter U shape. This will be the start of the glass, the glass of wine. Pause if you need to because I might go too quick for you, I'm not sure. Then go ahead and draw a line connecting the top of the letter U together. And then draw an oval that is slightly wider, actually about the same width. No. Yeah, about the same width of the cup. Every cup is different, so every glass is different, so if the bottom is a little wider or a little shorter, it's fine. Okay. Then go ahead and draw an inward curved line on both sides of the cup for the stem of the glass wine. And then draw an oval um, slightly above the middle of the inside of the cup, depending on how high you want the wine to be inside the cup. I want my uh, cup to be slightly full. And then draw a curved line connecting the stem at the bottom of the cup. And then we're going to start drawing the glass of wine. So draw another oval. Go ahead and we're going to draw a bunch of ovals. These two are the center of the wine bottle. They're the same width, um, but they're slightly wider than the first oval that we drew below it. Then I want you to draw three more ovals. The first one is slightly wider than the two above it. We're drawing the slant of the wine bottle, which is a cylinder, several cylinders. The, the middle is a cylinder, and then the top is a cylinder, and then everything else is a slant towards uh, one another. And then draw one more oval at the top. Excuse me, two more ovals. So I want to show you, I'll put guidelines. These two ovals are the same width, excuse me, are the same width like I told you. And then these three, these three are the same width, okay? The one at the top is slightly smaller, you just can't tell, okay? I'm going to take these blue lines away. You don't, you shouldn't draw those unless you need to. Okay, let's go one step further. Now, I want you to connect on both sides the ovals together, like I do. See how it forms a bottle? The interesting things, uh, the thing about glasses of wine is that it won't show the wine bottle inside the, the cup. It will show it distorted, which is what this red line right here is. It's the distorted bottle. It's not going to show up straight because it's, it's distorted. Okay, so once you do that, we are going to start coloring. But first, I want you to erase these ovals, and I also want you to erase the line behind the bottle like that. Okay. So go ahead. I guess I should tell you what you should use. You should use, I would say, either pastels. Uh, you could use colored pencils. Um, but you need something that, that will blend slightly together. So I'd say either colored pencils or pastels. You could use paint. But it needs to be able to blend. So first, draw a basic solid magenta, not magenta, um, burgundy color for the wine. 
and then just sort of a light shade of the the burgundy right below it on the stem and then draw a dark blackish outline on the bottom of the cup outlining the, the letter U shape of, of the cup and then draw a black around the oval and a white color inside of it we're not really blending much yet just basically put the color down and then I want you to fill in the stem and the bottom oval with white as well and just some white at the top a light a light shade of it just slightly put some in and then draw a darker gray around the stem and and when you go around the bottom of the stem make sure that you follow the outline of the curved line over here so that it makes it look like it's rotating so that it's uh, sort of spiraling inside and I'm what um, depending on what you're using I want you to sort of blend it with the white whether that means smudging it or using a little water if you're using watercolors just smudge it a bit so it doesn't have such a uh, solid line anywhere. It should it should sort of transition. So then I want you to also go around the bottom oval and shade that in also. Just put some some gray in a few different sections and then with your finger sort of go in a certain like trace the oval with your finger when you're blending it so that it sort of looks like it's going around. This will give the illusion that it actually is part of the wine glass. Then I want you to put in a solid black color for the wine bottle and for the distorted section in the wine glass color that in black as well and then a, a, a magenta color it doesn't have to be the same color as the wine and then I'm going to want you to put some white highlights on the wine bottle to make it look three-dimensional. And then use your finger or water to, sh to shade it in, depending on what you're using. And then draw a darker magenta in some sections of the cap. And also use your finger or water to blend it. And then put some more highlight, uh, a, a darker white in some sections, and around the wine glass and on the left side of the wine glass you're going to put want to put some white with a little bit of gray and then I like to to put white outside of the cup when I'm using brown paper and and the wine bottle just to make it stand stand out but if you're using white paper you don't need to do that I suggest that you you blend everything together and when it looks good then you know it's done um, ask somebody if it looks good, and if it doesn't, just keep working on it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.